funny things. Uh, nobody wants to make them, yet we all do. Um, and when I say mistakes, I also mean disappointments, because sometimes things go wrong that are beyond your control, um, and you might take them personally, but, but they're not. So it's mistakes and disappointments that I'd like to talk to you about. Because it's not trying to avoid them, uh, you know, it's how you deal with them that makes a difference between whether you're successful or not. Um, I would like to point out, though, that I don't advocate, so my, my point is that you should love your mistakes, but very importantly, don't love making mistakes, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying here that you should all go out and make lots of mistakes, as Wayne has said, it's great to love your mistakes. No. It's mistakes are going to be made, and what do, you, what do you do with them? You know, are you going to hate them, or are you going to love them? So I say you should love them, because who here has ever made a mistake? Yes, everybody. everybody. <laughs> That's the thing. Everybody makes mistakes. And in fact, I made a rather spectacular one in the beginning of my career that I'll uh, tell you about now. I was working as an export office administrator in a company that was selling children's stickers. And uh, we had a very big customer in Switzerland and uh, regularly ordered stuff. And I'd only been there a couple of months. And he rang up and he said, uh, good morning, Frau Winger. I'd like to order some uh, some stickers, please. I said, yeah, fine. Um, he said, I'll just want 2,000 of each of the Disney sheets. Okay? Okay? Yeah, sure. Well, that sounds good. Now I had to hang up the phone, trawl through the list, you know, there's all these Disney sheets. We had loads of them, because Disney is a very prolific uh, license uh, uh, company. <laughs> so there was Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Pluto, Go Goofy, um, uh, all the Disney princesses, Tom and Jerry, um, uh, Donald Duck, you name it. Anyway, so I've trawled through all of them, and there were about 20 of them. So, now, he also had all of his sheets individually wrapped on a special backing paper. So, it took about five weeks for 20 times 2,000 sheets to be produced, individually wrapped, and all packed in a pallet. <laughs> At least they're sitting there thinking, oh, I can feel it coming up. Anyway, so it was all packed, um, a delivery slip came up, and my colleague, who'd been there a lot longer, said, let me just go and check this through to make sure it's all okay. She looks it through and she says, Tom and Jerry. I said, yeah. She says, Tom and Jerry's not Disney's. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not? <laughs> no, it's Hanna-Barbera. Oh my God, well, I didn't know that. And there were two Tom and Jerry sheets. So that was 4,000 individually wrapped sheets in a pallet somewhere. And I said, oh, God, you know, well, that was stupid. She said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and what to do now? Now, the thing is, I've just come out of uni. And this is, also, this is also the thing. When you're in school and in uni and you're younger, when you make a mistake, what happens to them? You get punished. You know, you get a bad mark yeah. or you get told off. But that's it. You don't get a chance to put it right or anything. You just, you know, that's it. You've got your, you failed your exam and that's it. However... When you're in work, it, it, that's not just it. It's not like, oops, made a mistake. Sorry. <laughs> no, rectify it. So that's what my colleague says. I, but how? I don't know. She said, well, it's your mistake. You rectify it. Great teacher she was. <laughs> so I was like, okay, right. Hmm, what are my options here? I can go downstairs and ask the guy in packing, who wasn't very friendly, to uh, open the pallet and try and find those two times 2,000 sheets and take them out. I thought, oh, I'd rather not. I know what, I'm going to ring the customer and see if he wants them. Rang him up, got his assistant on the phone, explained the situation, said, oh, I can't decide on that. Um, you'll have to wait till he's back tomorrow. Longest night of my life <laughs> at the time. I was like, oh, my God, you know, because it's, it's a big thing, you know, I really are worried about it. Next day, he rings up, yes, Frauinger, what have you done? I said, I'm so sorry. I said, it's completely my fault. You asked for Disney. I didn't realise Tom and Jerry wasn't Disney, but... They're all packed now, they've got your backing sheets, and I was just wondering if you wouldn't mind taking them, because, you know, if you don't, I'll, you know, we'll take them out, but, all right, we'll take them, and you just watch some more cartoons in the <laughs> Then I actually felt really good. I was like, I sold 4,000 sheets. <laughs> Um, but it was, it was a really great uh, learning opportunity because the, the <coughs> biggest thing I learned from that was really about when you make a mistake, you have to rectify it. You know, there's no good, uh, you know, just 
moaning about it or thinking about it. Um, and that's what I call the difference between a school mindset and a work mindset. So the school mindset is where you make mistakes, uh, you know, you get punished. The work one is, you know, what do you do with them? Um, so let's have a look at what sort of mistakes we make nowadays in our businesses. And again, I draw from experience, so I'm not having a go at anybody here. <laughs> but uh, typical mistakes that you know business people, people make, for example, um, spending money on the wrong kind of marketing, um, spending too much on a product, you know, you've just, uh, or you picked the wrong supplier, or you offer the right, wrong kind of products, all those sort of things. And um, so what I'd like to do now is just compare two reactions to the same mistake. And let's take uh, Bob. Got Bob. Bob's a carpet cleaner and he's just started his business and uh, he thinks, right, I need clients, so what am I going to do? I know, I need clients. Uh, I'm going to advertise. And in fact, he just gets called up, funny that, you know, just registers and gets called up by these advertising salespeople. Magazine saying, oh, you know, we've got a really good circulation, 10,000 10, people, it's going to go out, you know, it's cost four grand to do the ad, but you know, it'll be worth it. And I say, oh, yeah, that's good, you know, sales, sales, salesmen have really good patter. So he places the ad. And then he sits by the phone and waits for the phone to ring with all these excited clients. Uh, but nothing happens. Because as it turns out, the magazine was actually completely the wrong target audience. It was a bad salesperson who just you know, didn't care at all about what, what, what the client wanted. So he gets no calls. Now Bob sits there and thinks, oh my God, people don't want what I'm offering. You know, I'm no good. There's no market for it. I'm no good at it. I'm rubbish. I'll just give up. Now, you may think that to be a bit of an extreme reaction to a mistake, but that is exactly what unsuccessful people do. They make a mistake, they have a disappointment, something goes wrong, they internalize it, they think, oh, I'm, I'm a failure, and they give up. That's why they're unsuccessful. It's obviously none of you, because you've all made mistakes and you're still here, so that's good. My favourite sentence is, failure is an event, not a person. It's just something that happens, and it will happen. Like I said, it's not about avoiding mistakes. You, you, that, that's not going to happen. So, now let's look at Frank. Frank is also a carpet cleaner, and Frank has been had by the same ad salesman. So he's also placed an ad in the same magazine, and also gets no phone calls. However, Frank thinks, right, that didn't work. What shall I do next? What shall I try differently? What have I learned from this? Hmm. I should really look into the target audience of a magazine. I should actually, is magazine advertising the best for me? So he analyzes it, and then he just says, I'm going to try something different next time and see if that works. And that really is the clue on, on, on how to deal with mistakes. Because who do you think is going to be, has any chance of success in their business? Bob? who's given up, or Frank, who keeps on going? Frank. 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 Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, very good. Yeah, you can see he's a business <laughs> analyst. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew it before you asked him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very good. Yeah. So, so, and this, this is it, you see. When you... And it's, it's really a valuable lesson because a lot of people do get down when they make mistakes and it's completely natural. I don't like it. Believe you me, in this whole sort of, you know, learn from your mistakes attitude, when I made a rather big one, you know, not that long ago, I was like, bloody learning opportunity. You know, just, but, you know, hey-ho, that's the only thing you can do because when you get yourself dragged down and you just give up, well, you're definitely not going to go anywhere. So, what do you do when you make a mistake? First one, admit it. Sometimes only to yourself. You know, actually say, I made a mistake. That was wrong. I shouldn't have done that. Then deal with it. So if it's something that you've done wrong, maybe to a customer, you know, make sure that they get a replacement or whatever. So it depends on the mistake, but deal with it. Don't, uh, don't sweep it under the carpet, um, unless you're a carpet cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, then, Analyze. Analyze what happened. Don't just move on. Analyze what happened. Think to yourself, what have I learned from this? And what will I do differently next time? That's so important. If you don't do that, again, you'll, you'll just make the same mistake again. And then just move on. 
forget about it, you made it, use it as a funny anecdote, whatever, it just happened. Use it to help other people say, oh, I made that mistake. But you know what? And this is why you should learn to love your mistakes. It is an absolute fact that you learn the most from making your own mistakes, however much you might hate it. <laughs> uh, you know, when other people say, oh, I shouldn't do that, I think, well, yeah, I'm going to try it anyway. You know, and then when it then doesn't work, or whatever, like, ah, right, okay. And then you really get it. So, that's my message to you. Learn to love your mistakes, learn from them, move on, and be successful.